Sunday begins on Thursday for us. We start doing the prep for Sunday all the way then, whether it's clarifying butter or ordering the eggs in or thinking about the specials and getting the product in, roasting the peppers. We'll start all that process on Thursday to be ready for Sunday. Is everybody here? One, two, three, four, five. All right, the soup today is cockaliki, cream of chicken with leeks. The mac today is roasted garlic, prosciutto, and provolone. The smoothie is still mango, blueberry, strawberry, orange. All right, any other issues, concerns? Let's help seat. Everybody, ready? Let's do it. Ready? Here we go. Mother's is about home cooking. It's about the food that mothers would feed their children if they had the time. And breakfast is probably the most important meal of the day, and Mother's has evolved to become uh, one of the biggest breakfast places in Portland, Oregon. And we have people actually coming from everywhere to have breakfast here. Perfect, thank you. Enjoy. Hello. How are we doing? Two? You know, it's funny, you'd think to see that big line that I would gloat and say, yeah, wow, great, you know, I rock. No, it's like, oh my God, they're waiting online. We have to get them in. Oh, I hate to keep them waiting so long. How long have they been waiting? I'm going to go walk the floor real quick so I can give you a good estimate. I, I'm going to see if I have any tables left at all and I can let you know. I'll be right back. Is there anything open? Like seven, eight? Oregon is populated with settlers and immigrants and people have moved here from everywhere else or the original people the oregonians are pioneers their forefathers came on the wagon trains and settled the land well what's big for cowboys what's big for those travelers breakfast and i think that's kind of the philosophy is stuck my restaurant just filled so it's probably gonna be about 20 25 minutes can i get a name uncle dan uncle dan i like it we'll call you out as soon as your table's ready Mother's is all about feeding people, so I'm not happy if I'm not feeding a lot of people. And the more people I can feed, the happier I am. And of course, on Sundays, we feed the most we feed any other day of the week. And in order to do so, a lot of things have to happen, and craziness ensues. You said two meetings, right? Yes, sir. You got two Spaniards hanging. Get me the tortillas. Right on. You demand. Rock stars are the only ones I schedule for the kitchen on a Sunday. I can't have a novice cook. I can't have somebody that doesn't know how to handle volume. And I always look to schedule the people that work well with me for a Sunday because I'm the one that works behind the line and I'm the one calling the tickets. And if I have people that don't understand me or can't move fast enough, the day can go to hell in a handbasket. I've been cooking since I was like 18, in and out of restaurants, but this one, this one takes the cake. We stay nice and busy here all the time. Money aside of dogs, please. Dasa, how about selling me over medium with crispy bacon? I choose to be the expediter on Sundays. Um, the expediter in the back kitchen is the probably the hardest job in the restaurant because that means I have to call every single dish that all the 750 people are going to eat. So I'm kind of the conductor, and I've got to get this started and that cooking and then orchestrated so that it all comes out of the window at the same time, smoking hot each and every time. All right, Monty, you got a biscuit breakfast down? Now, more often than not, my guests don't see it. More often than not, we can hide it. But in the back, I'm pulling my hair out. I'm screaming bloody murder. I'm trying to get the food out as hot as I possibly can. Maddie, fire special waffle sauce side. Two salmon hash and a Mike's. You got an order of country bread hanging. I have a rush order on another Migas for six all day. And run her hair. That's all. Biscuit breakfast set ups. Biscuit. She might yell a lot, but she has a heart. She definitely has a heart and she makes things happen really, really quickly. When she's in the window, everything's out super fast. Fire a full stack, a single special. That's a hot oat skim, no sugar with walnut, course one. She'll say, sell me a Benny, that's an Eggs Benedict. She'll say, sell me that OE, that's over easy. Sell me biscuit breakfast OE. And then I'll repeat back to her because you have to communicate and keep that open. I'll say, BOE, you know, like that's just shorten it up to letters. If we didn't have that, then we wouldn't get anything done. We wouldn't be able to serve as many people as we do.
Basically, we feed more than a person a minute. We manage to cook the food so fast that we put out more than one person's food a minute. So I choose to be in the back. It's the hottest part of the kitchen, the roughest job in the kitchen, probably the roughest job in the restaurant. But I see every dish that leaves the kitchen, and I'm sure it's perfect. And on a Sunday when I feed the most amount of people in a week, that's important to me. Well, as far as brunch and, and lunch goes, it's, it's really easy to work with. It's quick food to work with. It's really high quality food. And it's easy to make it consistent because we all do it the same way. And we do it the way she showed us to do it. And you know, we just do it as fast as possible and never compromise quality. It really does start with the food and how the food tastes and how the food looks and how it smells. But there are other factors here that can't be found in many other places. Our servers care as much as me. All right, maybe not as much as me, but they care like I care. That's about it. Uh, it comes with roasted red potatoes, you know, made of thyme and garlic and such. Oh, some salt. toast or something? It comes with toast, honey whole wheat toast. All right, how about for you, ma'am? You're the last one. Everybody matters to me. My staff knows it, and they feel it, and they honor it, and they make sure that everybody is as well taken care of as if they were in my dining room at my house, because that's what it is. There you go, hon. No problem. There you go. You know, it's funny because there are some customers that really do feel like part of the family, like part of the mother's family, like not just the people that work here and the people that you see every single day. And Jeff and Lynn are, are like that. We have people that have been coming to us every single week for eight years. We've got Lynn and Jeff. Sometimes they come Saturday and Sunday, just Sunday. But we don't even wait for the order to come in. We're already making Lynn's hash before uh, she ever sits down. We've been coming here ever since Mother's first opened. And we followed her from where she was before. So we've known her for two years prior to her opening here. They've been coming in since before I started working here. And they still come in every week, every Sunday, actually, and we save that table for them. The re real reason we came, keep coming back here is because I've adopted Lisa's, my mom, and <laughs> we want to support her. No, it's just great food. It's great food. I've traveled all over the world. Her Eggs Benedict is actually the best I've ever had anywhere. It's really that good. We make two gallons of hollandaise every Sunday. We use 60 egg yolks and probably about 30 pounds of butter um, to make the hollandaise. And it's just eggs, butter, and lemon juice. That's it. People always wonder, what do we put in it? Besides the eggs and butter, it's a lot of love. Ladies, are you doing well here? Wonderful. I would be nothing without our cooks. We don't have a cook, server, war. You know, we just all really get along, and that's really hard to find in any establishment. Um, there's not one thing I wouldn't do for the back of the house that I wouldn't do for the front of the house. That's another one of my favorite things about yeah. this place, too, is truly this place runs as an organism. We really work as one, one, I mean, one whole. It's really amazing. I've never, I've never worked in a place that, I mean, literally, like, we can finish each other's actions because we're all so in tune. Working in a restaurant is like working in an orchestra. You've got your violin player, your cello player, your clarinet. And without all these pieces working in perfect harmony, you don't get a perfect experience. I know it's kind of crazy, but I want to feed the world. <laughs> so, you know, I'll feed as many people as I possibly can in my lifetime. What time is it? Um, so, <laughs> but I try to feed as many people as possible some of the best food that they'll ever eat. It's just an obsession I have, and I just. I love feeding people. It makes me really happy to share the love.